Oh yeah, DR650. What kind of shock are you running on your DR? Uh, this is called a cogent. Oh, so it's the full cogent it's shock? full cogent system. Oh, that's cool. So it's called the Mojave. And then I have the, the valving, the spring, and the Kilo adjustment. Oh, wow. You got the whole deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got um, I have a cogent rebuilt stock shock. Oh, yeah. What'd you think of that? It's garbage. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. But I think it's I think it's blown because I'm I'm bottoming out like a whole lot today and it didn't used to do that so uh, you might, I don't know but mine has not bottomed out yet I'm 225 pounds oh wow okay yeah and that thing is and, built and is it is it doing pretty good out here I haven't been able to get it to speed but um I was out in uh, Nevada two weeks ago in Carson City. Uh huh. Out that way, riding, getting ready for this ride. Yeah. Never had a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's to me. I have a SC310, which is my dirt bike, and this is my dual sport bike. I mean, it's not a dirt bike, but it is good. Mm. It's good enough for me to get through all this shit. Yeah. But it's not good enough for me to pass a guy on a KTM. <laughs> okay, that's the difference. Yeah. Hmm. How so? How much did that run you? The rear shot? Fourteen hundred dollars for the whole setup. Woo. That was nine hundred, and then the springs, the oil, the adjusters, oh, man. and the valving was whatever. Fourteen hundred, about five hundred. Wow. Four hundred and change. But yeah, I'm happy with it. So it's money, it's money well spent. If I was unhappy with it, like a blown shock, then I'd be pissed. Yeah. Yeah, that's the coach in Mojave. And I, I let him know what kind of riding I was doing. And he fucking, you know, basically gave me a consultation on the phone. And then he said, okay, this is what I'm going to build for you. Mm, okay. So I'm happy with it. That's it does cool. stand the bike up. It is taller. Oh, okay. It's taller. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't have the, the linkage that you can drop it with. And... Yeah, I have, um, yeah, it doesn't have that. Can I sit on it? Go for it. See how. If you want to take it for a spin a little bit? Go ahead. I got my phone call. Okay. If you know which way we're going, cool. we'll take off. I'll just uh, so I'll just go down there about like half a mile and come back. Oh wow, this bike feels totally different from my bike. <laughs> All right, so this guy has uh, allowed me to ride his DR for a little bit. Oh man, it. Oh Jesus, it feels way different than my bike. It feels like an XR. And it feels like a totally different bike than mine. Oh yeah. It's so tall. Yeah, my mine is so plush. This is this feels more, you know, it feels more flat and more confident. That's what I'm talking about, man. There you go. See, it's, it's absorbing the shock, you know? So, dude has, like, the full... This is a full uh, cogent redone dealy. And it's nice. I like it. Alright. I said I'd take it down here for a little bit. I, I wish it was a little gnarlier. It's a fucking... Like a goat... Like a fucking... Uh, Let's just try sitting down. Yeah, it's, it's good. I wish I could take it on some rougher stuff, but... Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Man! <laughs> Totally different than my bike, man. It feels like a dirt bike. My bike feels like a fucking cruiser compared to this.
Oh, dude, it's totally different than my bike. It feels like a dirt bike. <laughs> I know. That's the comment I said. Didn't I just tell you? I was like, man, I, I can hang all day and have confidence. Yeah. But I'm not going to. It's no, it's not my husky. You know? Yeah. But it is confidence dual stage. I like it. Yeah, I bit the bullet, man. I'm blind faith. Well, no, the guy told me that he would give me a money back guarantee if I got the full setup. He knew. You can only do so much with that. With the stock shock? Yeah, and so he says, man, you buy my setup, money back guarantee if it doesn't work. And I was like, really? He goes, yeah. If it doesn't work for what you do, what you want to do, then I'll give you full. Yeah, I know. I should have just, uh, I should have just went with like a suspension s yeah. specialist in the beginning. I've been tuning it myself. I got the front to be pretty good. It's got the, um, intimidators and progressive fork springs. And, and I like it a lot with that setup. The but the back is just... A friend of mine had that on his bike, and I was unhappy with that. And no, you didn't like it? I'm not going to get those, because to me, when you go over a whip section, uh -huh. and down, I thought the valve would just collapse. I thought the oil just blew right by it. Because, mm. like, the front end would just, it could bottom out. Yeah. It might be because of my weight, too. Yeah. You know? Maybe I didn't, you know? He was a bigger guy than me. How's this on, the, on that whoops like we were doing yesterday? Um, I didn't do this yesterday. Oh, okay. You to, this is your first day. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there was a lot of whoopy sections last yesterday, and then this bike it just wouldn't do it. Does the suspension start fucking? Yeah, it starts um yeah, doing this thing, yeah. pogo stick. So that's what I like about that stiff rear end is that I can stay on the throttle and lean back, and instead of it doing this. Yeah, it's it's it planted. It stays on the ground. Yeah. yeah. If you try to slow it down, that's when it starts fucking you. Mm. Well, this suspension, the way, you know, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, it feels a lot like an XR, yes, if you've ever ridden an exactly, XR. Yeah, it does. It feels like, not the XR 650, but the XR 400. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think something like in between. Okay, thanks a lot, man. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> now, now you've opened my eyes. <laughs>